What other shows are you doing? Uh, not a lot of shows, uh, but I did uh, Christine and um, oh. I forgot the other one. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> but you're also walking in the Victoria's Secret show. Yes, yes, I am. I'm really happy about it. I'm really excited. Yeah. It's your birthday! Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, it's Bruna's birthday today! Happy birthday! Woo! Thank you! Was Thank that embarrassing? You. Not at all. <laughs> and then you're also doing Victoria's Secret. Yes. Are you excited? Of course. <laughs> is that like, when you were young, was that like one of the shows that you were like, I wish I could be in that show? Of course. I think yeah. everyone. <laughs> and then just generally, when it comes to keeping um, your skin nice and your body nice before fashion week, what is your beauty regime? Always take off your makeup before sleeping, scrubbing and everything. Moisturizer. Yeah. Nice. Leela, how are you feeling? I'm just really grateful and I'm so excited because we're starting season five next week. So what are we going to expect? I think with power you can expect always to, like everything the following season is going to get pushed to the limits. I know this coming year I don't feel like any one of us are safe. So we're all ready to start the ride and excited to get back to work but none of us really know what we have in store for us because the storyline kind of like it's always like you guys are put in danger the character right so is there anything else that you're working on other than power at the moment no at the moment i've been enjoying my summer i just finished a sailing course and i'm ready to get back to work I'm wait so fun. you can sail yes i can sail <laughs> have you got a boat ready for next year? Uh, not yet. I'll work on that. I always feel like boats are like paying alimony to ex-wives. <laughs> Which other designers do you like wearing? Um, oh god. I mean, I love wearing Alice and Olivia. I love yeah. wearing Jean-Paul Attaker. Uh, I think uh, Jean-Paul Attaker loves wearing you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, I don't know. So many designers. It's hard to choose. So obviously you started in the entertainment industry quite young. How has that been? It's been good so far. Um, yeah, I mean, I started when I was eight years old, I guess. Well, wow, it's crazy. Yeah. And uh, um, it's, it's been great. I mean, I, I love what I do and I feel really lucky and hopefully I'll be able to continue to keep doing it. So a lot of the young people out there that are trying to get into entertainment, um, what is your advice to them? Um, my advice to young people trying to get into the entertainment industry would be, I mean, just like study. Study and work hard and stay focused and practice. Um, I think that's the best thing you can do. And I think nowadays it's so cool because you have platforms like YouTube and Instagram where you can kind of create your own fan base and put out your own content and make your own material. And um, so take advantage of that. And you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. But I feel like you always do. And on screen, I feel like you have such a presence. Um, tell me, what are you up to now? I'm actually, I've just been, we're filming episode seven right now for season four. And I've been working out, I've been training and just working. And this week I've been doing fashion week. So yeah. How does it feel play, playing Catwoman? Catwoman is a very different character from Selena Kyle. So she, she is, Catwoman is almost like Selena's alter ego. Yeah. So playing Catwoman and playing Selena Kyle are two very different things. So I love playing Selena Kyle the way she is, but I'm excited to hopefully get to play Catwoman. Catwoman. I want to see Selena turn into, grow into Catwoman, not turn into. So if you could ever play another superhero role, who would that superhero be? Oh, I don't know. There must be someone that, like, as a kid, you dressed up or watched Marvel and you were like, right. I was into Disney princesses growing up. I was never into superheroes. I loved Jasmine. I loved Belle. I was into the Burnettes, you know what I mean? I wasn't really into Cinderella because I felt like it was stupid that she dropped her shoe and didn't pick it up. <laughs> um, and I, I was just, I didn't like Cinderella, but... Yeah, I was always into the Disney princesses. I could see you playing Belle. Thank you. A hundred percent. Emma Watson killed that. She did. She, she did. did. She but killed that. maybe there needs to be a TV version of Belle and Her Adventures. Maybe. I'd be down for that. I mean, we could put it out there. Belle <laughs> and Her Adventures, right? Yes. Uh -huh. That'd awesome. be fun. Anything else you're working on? No. I'm just working on myself.
I feel like we should see you on TV a lot more. I really do. I, I would like that. I would also like to dive more into movies as well. I think that's, that's, that's every actor's goal is to be in a movie. So I'm just going to keep working on myself. And once, I, once you work on yourself, then nobody can really tell you how to do anything. So I'm just going to keep working on myself and everything will fall into place. Well, amazing. And thank you so much, babe. Thank you.